Oh, okay. Sephiroth Mega Man. Um, any thoughts before we get into it? Um, I'm, I'm thinking through the matchup here. I mean, they both have those big threat bands, so it, it, it's pretty neutral intensive where whoever comes out on top really gets to stay in charge for a long time in this matchup. Yeah, I think that's definitely true. Um, one big thing, wow, look at these pellets just shutting down um, Emperor Gesa's uh, Sephiroth here, not able to do anything in neutral as regulating MoFo just continues to use those lemons. Yeah, the pellets are looking pretty oppressive right now, really dominating the neutral. I mean, it's only like 46, 48% or so, you know, 2% at a time, but Mofoto hasn't been touched at all. He's just keeping ahead. He's finally getting in for a little bit more as he sees first step up a little bit too far. Yeah, and it really is a game of nickel and dime when you're playing as and against the Mega Man. And that chip damage you have to be careful of. Ooh, this is the Z-Drop Metal Blade, but actually assumes it's going to go the opposite way. So we can't quite find the punish on that. Yeah, Burst checking regulating Mofo on the ledge right there. He's pretty safe, so he's able to throw like an up B and just check to see how aggressive regulating Mofo wants to be. Yes, Mofo getting the combo there of the pellet pellet into the nair. A very reliable uh, combo for Mega Man. And the back here going to find the early stock against Sephiroth. Remember, guys, Sephiroth is a fairly light character, even though he looks like a big boy. Yeah, and Burst did die right there for grabbing the saw. It's really appealing to try and convert that because Mega Man's able to do so much with it, but sometimes it's just not worth it. You let him have the saw if it's going to let you keep your life. Yeah, you really do. You have to know when to take your openings, right, and when to respect the blue bomber, or in this case, black and yellow bomber, the, the B bomber, if you will. Yep. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Re regulating Mofo now. Uh, still zoning out, but Lord Ambergesa, or Burst, uh, as we know them, uh, able to find a ledge trap here. Not quite. Oh, what was that? Up tilt? What was that? Yeah, I think that's up tilt. Not quite going to give stock. him a little bit more pressure right there. He's got a lot of percentage finally mounted up, but Burst just can't find any options to pin in, try and confirm off that. He's going to get killed off by the forward smash just at the very extent of its range. He's bombs now, but regulating Mofo doesn't really find any more pressure off that. In fact, going to end up being killed. Yeah, really, really good recognition there from Amber Gesa or uh, Burst Sephiroth. Um, finding the stock, but it's regulating Mofo with the stock lead here. Uh, Amber Gesa trying to find the ledge trap. Yeah, this is a uh, burst opportunity. His character so excels at those ledge traps, but he's just not quite finding those options. He's thrown out the down tilt to, to look for the two frame. There's the up B finally finding its mark as it brings him back to stage, making it pretty safe to do so as can actually stand fully on stage and not have to deal with any more of those pellets right on the ledge. He finds a back air there and it gets a really early kill and so, so suddenly Burst has evened up this game. Wow, I mean, it really was, it was Octo Slash at the ledge and that did like a million damage into the air to back air confirmed for Lord Amber Gesa. Evening it back up for his Sephiroth. Now it is regulating Mofu who has to make sure that they can keep this lead that they had all set, all game that is. Regling Mofo here, finding that back here. He's going to keep up the pressure. He's looking for a downer to try and find that spike. The ledge trump comes out too, but he doesn't find the backer on this one either. Yes, and it is Lord Ambergisa now who is in the lead, uh, in, in advantage rather. But Regling Mofo coming down aggressively with that back here. What a strong move, strong option. Very quick, very uh, demanding of Lord Ambergisa's respect. I really love that angled buzzsaw. I covered even more of burst options there. He's got the bomb stuck on him, so he's got to fade back with a back air, seeding a lot of space on stage. He finds the nair right here, and the forward air doesn't quite come out. He's really threatening with those back airs, especially anytime he's on stage. Yeah, Amber Gisa has definitely come into their own here. Their rhythm is doing quite wonders for them. Regulating Mofo trying to shut them down here at the ledge. Doesn't quite find a opening as Lord Amber Gisa comes out aggressively with the dash attack. And the F-Tilt doesn't find its mark. This game is becoming so tense as they get up to these very high percentages, and they're still just poking away at each other, trying to find an in. It's regulating Mofo, who gets a little too forward. He gets himself checked with a forward air, but it's not enough to kill him on that side of this stage. He's trying to drop on with that back air. It gets fully parried, but Burst can't quite capitalize on that either. Ooh, looking for the roll with that up tilt. Doesn't quite find it, but it is Lord Ambergisa still on the ledge with the trapping here. Catches Regulating Mofo with another forward air, and it's just around the world here for Regulating Mofo trying to get back to neutral. Safe characters being played so safely by their operators here. 
fading forward airs, fading back airs, just trying to keep so far away from each other. And it's finally a forward smash there in the midst of it all that brings regulating Mofo ahead in game one. Oh, and what a good call out from that forward smash. Remember, everybody watching, dashing is a commitment in this game and regulating Mofo recognizing it, recognizing sort of the pattern that Lord Ambergesa had with their dashes, shutting that down rapidly with that forward smash. Yeah, that was a fascinating interplay because so many times it was so punishable. First had so many successful dash attacks, you got a kill with one, and he was just able to stack on the damage, especially while they're in that really low committal neutral state. But finally, I mean, Regulating Mofo did catch on to that. He finally had the download almost on it. I don't know about download since they're just playing back and forth, but he knew oh, that those yeah. dash attacks were coming. He'd seen so many of them over the course of the game. And with so much end lag on that move, you just got to fade back. And he's been doing that already. You got plenty of practice fading back away from the Sephiroths. You just got to put out a hitbox this time. Yes. And, I mean, we're talking about figuring out habits and punishing them. It really doesn't matter how many habits you punish as long as you're the one that gets the punish at the end of the game. Yes, it's the, the final punish. The end of the game is the most important one. And regulating MoFo showing that. But we'll be moving in very soon here to game two on Town & City. Yeah, so this one's gonna be a little better here for Burris. He's got some more space to work with with his big up airs and his up smash. He's gonna cover a lot of this area if Rayleigh Morpho gets stuck up on these platforms above. Also, the flat stage is going to be a little easier for just forcing those neutral encounters where he can hit harder than the lemons actually do. Ooh, and doesn't quite find the continuation with that Nair, but really good string there from Lord Ambergesa. But all this chip damage is just adding up. And it seems like regulating Mofo is actually the one in the lead here. Those down beats just add on so much threat. Makes it really hard for regulating Mofo to go for any of his more committal, more damaging combo options or approach options. That bomb on the ledge is a nice touch that we haven't really seen before. Just is a great answer as well to first spending so much time right below the ledge, throwing out those up bees all the time as well. Yes, an excellent catch on the landing there, using that up air to bait the air dodge or the jump, and then punishing that landing with that option. Oh, the Octo Slash not quite going to find it, and a Crash Bomber hitting both of them. That was so much fun right there. First, <laughs> use this up beat to bring them and make sure that they both get hit by the down bees explosion. That way he's not going to get punished. They're just both taking the same damage, taking the same knockback. Yeah, and it's regulating Mofo, pushing Lord Ambergissa in the corner once again here, sitting on the side platform there. What a scary position, but Lord Ambergissa maintaining their cool, getting out of the corner properly. Oh, but that overzealous dash attack going to get grabbed, and Mofo will find the back throw for the first stop. Ooh. Starts off that stock with a bomb attached to him, going to be hard-pressed to find his in, but in the end, his up, uh, up smash is going to find it. Uh, up smash, up till, there we go. Yes. Yeah, regulating Mofo, doing a good job here. Trying to ledge trap, and it looks like, oh, wow, the catch on the roll in with the up air. That's going to be a lot of damage for regulating Mofo. That's a great call out on the plummet. He gets stuck with the bomb nonetheless, but another ledge trump that he's been going for. This one does pan out with the back air finally. A really interesting position there. Scouted out the jumps, and regulating Mofo finds the down air. That was a zero to death, wasn't it? Yeah, he finds another down air there as well to keep the damage going on this stock. He just stole that stock away from Burst. He's playing from quite well ahead, especially Whoa. with that game in his favor. The Black Wing is out for Sephiroth. He's going to find an up tilt to start off this combo. Two forward airs, and Great Lady Mofo has to use that up. He to just try and buy some space. Yep, and an aggressive forward air will get called out by regulating Mofo's grab, but Lord Ambergis is using the down air to get down. But it's another grab that Regulating Mofo finds to put Lord Ambergissa back in the corner on Town and City. That is especially not where you want to be because of those side blast zones. Regulating Mofo is having a hard time finding the same impact with his projectiles as he was before. He's tossing out pellets, he's tossing out projectiles as much as he can. And finally he does find them and they do tack on the damage and the final kill that he needs to take out first. Uh, and Regulating Mofo will take that set 2-1. Excellent defensive play and and just really good ledge trapping too from yeah. regulating Mofo, and finally I just I loved the patience that they had in neutral yes. uh, and advantage state. You know, finding those tech chases, finding those uh, just those pressure scenarios where uh, Lord.